Well, recently on this show, we've been raising the alarm about MS-13. We've been doing it because we think it's important. MS-13 is an international crime cartel. It's not an overstatement. It's based in El Salvador. It has rapidly become one of America's largest and deadliest street gangs. There are more than 10,000 members in this country. They run criminal enterprises in at least 40 states. How bad are things getting on America's streets, and what are police doing to keep them in check? Timothy Sinai is the police chief for Suffolk County, uh, New York, where MS-13 activity recently was suspected in a horrific, truly horrific, quadruple homicide. He joins us tonight. Mr. Commissioner, thanks all for coming on. Thank you, Tucker, for having me. Um, so tell us first about this crime, uh, if you would, the quadruple homicide. Sure. So last week we had four homicides. Uh, these individuals, uh, all of whom were young people, uh, were brutally and savagely murdered. Uh, we suspect MS-13 involvement, and this is not the first uh, set of homicides committed by MS-13 in our community. In September of 2016, uh, we tragically lost Nisa Mickens and Kayla Cuevas, a uh, 15-year-old yeah. and a 16-year-old girl, uh, girls who went to Brentwood High School, and they were savagely murdered by MS-13. Fortunately, we solved that case. Uh, those individuals have been federally indicted, and in fact, they're eligible for the death penalty. But now we have this quadruple homicide in Central Islip, which is right next to Brentwood, where the yeah. uh, prior murders were. Uh, and we are, uh, we've declared war on MS-13. Uh, we've rolled out a very aggressive strategy, uh, but this is a long-term war. And as you've mentioned uh, repeatedly, MS-13 is a serious threat. Well, by the numbers, a greater threat than ISIS to American citizens in this country. Brutality seems to be the hallmark of a lot of what they do. Indeed. In fact, uh, unlike many other gangs, uh, they engage in violence for violence, uh, for, the, for the sake of violence. So uh, many gangs will use violence to protect their economic crimes like drug dealing and uh, other uh, economic crimes. Uh, MS-13 will use violence to increase its reputation uh, on the street. Uh, and also the level of brutality uh, is is unique uh, to MS-13. So uh, we need to be doing everything we can in this country yeah. to combat this gang. Yeah, it's not just shooting people. It's, it's doing things that I won't describe on television, but that are they're legitimately horrible. Um, so where did this come from? I mean, 10 years ago, we were not doing segments on MS-13. Sure. So uh, MS-13 has its roots in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Uh, and uh, oftentimes MS-13 will uh, prey on uh, recent immigrants uh, to this country. Uh, they'll prey on the vulnerable. They'll prey on the young. Uh, uh, indeed, uh, we've had a, a large influx of uh, immigrants from Guatemala, Honduras, and, and El Salvador in many of our communities uh, in Suffolk County. And these are individuals who are young. Uh, oftentimes, they're not here with their parents. Uh, they don't speak English. Uh, this is the first time they're in this country, and they're vulnerable. And MS-13 MS will prey on these individuals. Uh, and that's a serious problem we have in our communities throughout this entire country. So we're rolling tape now of federal immigration officers arresting MS-13 members. Do you have any sense of how many active members of the gang are here illegally? Uh, I wouldn't have that number nationally, but uh, I, I, will, I will say this. Uh, certainly, uh, they, they prey on individuals who have come here uh, illegally. Uh, many MS-13 members uh, are clearly here uh, illegally. Uh, obviously, most people who are, who are here uh, undocumented are law-abiding uh, folks. In fact, we've seen uh, significant crime reductions in communities uh, that, are, uh, that have a lot of undocumented immigrants. But nonetheless, that doesn't change the fact that many MS-13 gang members are folks who came here illegally. In fact, uh, out of the 13 defendants uh, who were indicted uh, in the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of New York, five of whom who were indicted for the murders that I described uh, with respect to Nisa Mickens and Kayla Cuevas, uh, 11 came here illegally. Seven uh, were unaccompanied, uh, were folks who came through the unaccompanied children program. So this, is, this problem has been growing for the past 10 years anyway. Do you think you've been getting the kind of federal support you need over that time? So we work very closely with our federal law enforcement partners. Uh, our strategy is very clear. Uh, it's all about intelligence, collecting intelligence. So we collect yeah. as much intelligence, uh, intelligence as possible. We identify gang members, and then we target them aggressively. We utilize our gang officers in the Suffolk County Police Department who are uh, highly uh, effective officers. We utilize our uh, firearm suppression team, uh, which are, are, are very uh, motivated and highly trained officers, uh, and we make street arrests. Since we rolled out this initiative, we've made, uh, we've made over 170 arrests of known MS-13 gang members, all the while working with our federal law enforcement partners, including the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office, to build those RICO cases. Right. 
because RICO is really the tool uh, to eradicate MS-13. Well, so it, it killed the mafia. That's, that's sure. exactly right. Uh, yeah. and, and, and it's effective because, one, it carries stiff penalties. Uh, so if you assault someone on the street, say uh, you punch them in the face, uh, that is not, you're not going to do significant time for that in the state right. system. But if you can prove that it's in furtherance of, of, of gang activity and furtherance of MS-13, it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother ball yeah. game. And you can literally you know, make a federal case out of it. So yeah. RICO is very effective. It ca usually carries uh, a maximum of life yeah. imprisonment uh, and sometimes uh, the death penalty. Wow. Commissioner, thanks a lot for filling us in on that. Appreciate it. Thank you.